insert the theme song for the Dan Daniel Georgia show. Coming up on the Daniel and Georgia show, season two, episode five, Mother's Day Bike Cast Date Nights is coming up on DanielandGeorgia.com and SpecialChronicles.com. Welcome back to the, the Daniel and Georgia show. My name is Daniel from SpecialChronicles.com and DanielandGeorgia.com. Georgia, a uh, is his love interest. <laughs> love interest. <laughs> <laughs> We're changing that intro up every week, but I like that. And and, and uh, uh, we um we all um, um pre recording this week's episode because uh on on uh, a very special live edition, uh, live bite cast edition, uh, Mother's Day bite cast edition of of the program. Uh, and our, our special two special guests. Instead of calling in on the phone, we have actually in person. Is is my mom Kayla Bunches. Hello out there. And my mom Linda. That's right. Hello, lovely to be here. And so let's. Both of you have been. Well, yeah, well, yeah, I've been, I've called in before, but we'll um we'll in the middle we'll, we um stopped about thirty minutes into our bike ride. And this is um, uh, this is a um, a long time in a long time in the making, a uh, meaning it, as a full person mother child with special needs unified bike ride cycling uh, ride, and so thanks to a global <laughs> pandemic, co- coronavirus, COVID nineteen, social distancing. We are able to make this uh, finally happen, right? That's right. Yeah, we've been wanting to get together for a long time, and now we found that we have the time and the space to do it on the Salt Creek Trail. Yeah, we should say that the Salt Creek, That's Creek right. Trail. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, the sun's out, and um, we um, uh, passed all the the rain, and we and we'll do this before it gets cold again. Mm-hmm. So let's. It's not gonna get cold. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and by the way, folks, if you listen to the audio podcast on every major podcast app, you can check out the video as well, right? On tv.danielandgeorgia.com slash watch. So, uh, so what's, uh, how should we kick off this live podcast? Um, we should ask some questions about mothership and childhood. Yeah, awesome, good. And uh, as as always, uh, uh, you are the one that come up with uh, most of the questions. Um, and so I'll, I'll kind of come up with questions, maybe like kind of off offshoot of those questions. So uh, what's the first topic? Well, the, uh, the first question is, why do you like Mother's Day the most? Who wants to begin with that? And we'll pass the mic. Do you want to Why hold, do we like Mother's Day the most? Hold it close to you. Well, you have to like Mother's Day more than Father's Day if you're a mother. <laughs> um, you know, and it's been said before, but it's really true that every day is Mother's Day. You you always feel like you're a mother. You never lose that feeling. You know, even for a day. It's So Mother's Day uh, has a little tinge of sadness for me, though, because I think of the people that would like to be mothers and haven't had the the occasion, the chance to be mothers. Um, Mother's Day falls at the most beautiful time of the year where, you know, we just rode through the woods and it couldn't be more beautiful in the woods because the trees are leafing out a little and there are lots of flowers. Yeah, so I'm going to turn it over to Karen. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, Mother's Day, it's a special time of the year. Um, certainly, as Linda said, the springtime is fantastic. It's a time when you kind of have joy and new beginnings and new starts and rebirth in a variety of different uh, genres. And for Mother's Day, typically what happens for me is 
I go out um, and get flowers and uh, with the family, with a couple of the kids, and plant the flower box. And it's just great to dig your hands in the dirt and kind of get reconnected with starting, uh, starting new things. These are plants, but you know, as um, we start, as Linda said, not everybody gets a chance to actually have a, you know, have a child birth in their life. But um, there are lots of beginnings that can be started, and, uh, and it's a great time to um, to enjoy that and, and uh, experience it. And uh, see what happens after after you planted your seeds. So I've got a typical typical. Uh, we apologize for the wind noise. Typical uh, follow up question related to both of you, uh, and 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 that's um, how does this season of spring that will end? How does the season of spring? relate to Mother's Day? How does the season of spring relate to Mother's Day? Is there any, like how is it similar to how the season of spring that we're in similar? Like, is, like what's, what's the reason for having Mother's Day in May it during the season of spring? Well, I think Karen just said it so, so very well about uh, the analogy with the flowers. Um, you know, it's kind of a you know, we mothers were, were women, and so we were lovely. Mm -hmm. and, and, and spring has all the loveliness of the flowers. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Hallmark <laughs> chose the May to be <laughs> the day that mothers are celebrated. They, of course, should be celebrated every day. Um, but, you know, it is a time of the year. It's springtime, joy and new beginnings. Um, uh, some faiths celebrate no ruse. Um, at the springtime, that's in March, at the, uh, the equinox. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's a time of new beginnings. You know, there's, there's the cycle of life. And uh, I think that's what, um, at least for me, is kind of special about celebrating this time of year. Um, well, the reason why I love Mama's Day the most is when I'm with my mom. We buy go out and um, we sometimes play games. Awesome, and the reason why I love Mother's Day the most is it's a day to celebrate the the parents that gave uh, both to us. <laughs> you can insert a laugh track if you want. <laughs> you want to laugh? Okay. So next topic, <laughs> next segment. everybody in the delivery room to pediatricians to obstetricians and uh, one of the obstetric one of the pediatricians noticed some maybe some physical um, attributes 
that might show that there uh, could be some challenges. And uh, so then a blood test was run and within a couple of days, maybe it was the same day, I don't quite remember, I was quite <laughs> doped up at the time <laughs> after that cesarean section. Um, but, uh, so it was within a couple of days and, um, you know, there's, uh, as Linda was saying, it, you know, it's a miracle for any bird that no matter what, it's just, it's a miracle. And um, whether or not there are anomalies or differences, um, you know, it just, that's, that is yet to be played out. Um, and uh, George, you've been really fortunate because you have really good help. And so uh, many of the things that we thought were gonna be issues didn't turn out that way. Um, so, anyway, that's that. Uh, also, I was gonna add something to that. So you just said that something uh, that uh, um, that that Georgia has good health and a lot of the issues that that she would have had doesn't have and I think my mom can probably say the same thing about me as well with having good good health and some of the issues that I may have had don't have so like unlike others of all uh, us so athletes with other challenges you know uh, so that like like that's that's why a lot of times we say, not just on this program, but in our community, uh, that we all have different diagnoses, 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 um, <laughs> but like it's all dip, different, and that's why like there's no one that's the same. There's no one person with ID that's the same. No one person with the same person with don't look the same we're all different and I think that like what you guys both said there uh all the explains that part of all uh, stories. Yep. So um next next question <laughs> topic um, what kind of genes did we inherit Besides the old worn-out blue jeans? <laughs> Besides Levi's? Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> well, no matter how old your child gets, and I, can we say how old you two are? That you're the same, yeah. yep. same age, both 31. Mm -hmm. uh, but no matter how old, I think the parents, you're always seeing both parents' traits in you. You know, one day you look at your daughter or son and oh, that's, you know, those are my eyes, or oh, that's your dad's chin, and, and um, so that's fascinating, I think, even after 31 years. Um, Dan did not get his height from me. <laughs> I'm a little sh on the shorter side. Um, gosh, you know, my, his sisters like to say, uh, mom, are we going to get your arthritic hands? Are we going to get this? Are we going to get that? <laughs> They're not too excited about what genetic traits they think they'll maybe inherit from me. Um, yeah, I can't come up with much more at the moment. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say that um, Georgia did not inherit her height from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite a bit taller. <laughs> but I think you did inherit some of the Diekman height, or actually it would be the Smith height. My grandmother was 4'10", and uh, I used to get on my knees and walk up to her and be, meet her in the eyeballs. She did not like that very much. <laughs> I think I got swatted in the side of the head for that. Um, but gosh, you know, there are, we, we share lots of similar interests, which are not the same as genes, right? You know, I liked to swim when I was younger, you like to swim. That's, you know, that's just, a, you know, one of those fun characteristics. Um, I see, you know, it's funny, sometimes I look at you and I see dad's side of the family, and sometimes I look at you and see that, no, it's totally from my side. Um, you know, where I think you're just a good mix. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and so let's move on. Um, we'll, we're, we're at about 14 minutes of the program, so we just want to just uh, take a quick moment to thank our sponsors, uh, to all of our generous. I don't know why you're cleaning out that. Mask, mic, 
something? Mike. You're gesturing with your mic. <laughs> oh! Uh, I'm gesturing of what? And we do oh. all have masks on, so if we're sounding a little fuzzy, it's because we're talking through our face masks. Yeah, you can see that on the video edition. <laughs> but TV. not on the audio, it might sound a little weird. Yeah, so tv.danielandgeorgia.com slash watch, you can see us, but if, if you listen to the audio podcast on every major podcast app, you can, that's why. So, uh, just quick, uh, th thank you to our journalist supporters. Uh, uh, who um, uh, who, who, who supported this podcast and others like it on specialchronicles.com slash give. Uh, you can join them and, and, and support us and uh, to, to continue to make shows like this possible. Uh, and um, our, our sponsors, uh, ComEd, the ComEd Energy Force Program is the country's first energy efficiency, energy efficiency, energy efficiency. <laughs> I, I have to... I have to part of saying that for for this, this the, the new video coming soon. So I'm using the sponsor break to to to, to part of saying energy right. efficiency. There you go. Program right. and um, go to specialchronicles.com/comed to learn more information, links, uh, a um, a special sponsor podcast series, uh, specialchronicles.com/comed, and they help to keep all the lights on, keep all this plugged in, and. Um, so thank you, and stay tuned to that page, specialchronicles.com slash comrade, for your energy efficiency, energy efficiency, energy efficiency tips. Uh, there's a new virtual event, three video episodes that are coming soon, May, June, and July 2020. And uh, uh, insult PSA for the inclusion revolution, just say we are all doing the uh, cycling, bike ride, unified cycling bike ride unified and inclusion as we are leaders in the inclusion revolution. So go to join the revolution.org, join the revolution.org to take the pledge and the choose to include. And C sponsor done. Welcome back to the Daniel and Jota show. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna insult any audio there. <laughs> <laughs> this is a what's called an unabridged <laughs> episode. Okay, we've got a homemade sound effects everything. Okay, yeah, so welcome back to the Daniel and Georgia Show, season two, episode five, Mother's Day bike calf date nights, pre-recorded in the, in the afternoon on Thursday, the seventh of May, twenty twenty. And uh, my, my name is Daniel from SpecialChronicles.com and DanielAndGeorgia.com. And I'm joined always with his mother, his true love, Georgia, and Chef G from Georgia's Kitchen. And our right. special guest back on the program for the final segment Georgia's mom, Karen. Dan's mom, Linda. And, whoa, I can't see there. Okay. Uh, and, uh, did, did you get to all the questions? Yes, okay, okay, so I added a few other. Um, last minute segments for the second mm. part of the program, uh, the second half. Uh, and so, um, recommendation picks of the week. This is not a segment that we have done on this show, but we have done it on the Special Chronicles show, our flagship program, um, meaning when we did our commentary on the shows on the ABC sitcom Speechless, we did a segment called Picks of the Week, where we would recommend anything, it could be anything, from a movie or TV or a book or an app or person, or a place, or a thing, or a noun, anything, any noun, <laughs> anything that you want to recommend for your pick of the week. And so, um, we're all going to go around in a circle and give our picks of the week, and we'll put links in the show notes on danielandgeorgia.com and specialchronicles.com for this season 2, episode 5 of the, of the Daniel and Georgia show, um, to, um, to these picks of the week. So, who wants to go first? Um, plus, I, I'm spit, I'm, I, I am... Throwing, throwing this out with not without telling anybody, including myself, <laughs> come up with a pick. So we have to come up with a pick at the top of the uh, at the top of our head. So who wants to come up with a pick of the week? I'll go first. So my pick of the week is the uh, Georgia's Kitchen show, which she's doing on Facebook and Georgia's Kitchen, and uh, showing us some delicious recipes. And on Saturday. Uh, do your cooking at home. Uh, yeah. Um, also, um, there's 
So coming Sunday, I have a guest though, which is my mom. Um, we've been making it since Sponsor Joe's. And basically, it's how to make a main meal. So please do it. What's your pick of the week? Um, yeah. <laughs> Like your what's a favorite thing for this week? Like did you uh, see a show or a movie or actually a, I did show a, a movie. We, um, my mom and I had a a huge movie night with popcorn and we watched the Princess Bride. Oh I love the oh, Princess Bride. Yeah. <laughs> it is a it is a family classic. We watch it every other year. Every and other it's, year. It's on Disney Plus. Um my mom actually have a quote. <laughs> Hello. About what? My name is Indigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> oh, how to follow that? <laughs> I must say, I have on Instagram, I've seen a lot of George's meals recently, mm. pictures of the meals. Mm. They always make me really, really hungry, whether or not it's meal time. <laughs> Is that my, your my pick of the week, well, it would have been to recommend my tuna sandwich that I had yesterday. Mm. It was my best tuna sandwich I ever made, but it's gone now, so I can't really <laughs> recommend it. It was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Uh, but because, uh, because most of us are sheltering at home, and some of us are sitting on the couch, you know, and viewing the TV more than usual. so. One of my daughters recommended a, uh, a show, uh, I don't know if it was originally, which network it was on, so I just caught it on uh, Netflix, and it's called, it's maybe three, four, or five years old, called Turn, Washington's Spy, and it's a spy thriller set during the Revolutionary War in, um, in, in the colonies. You know, and it makes, they, they take, I'm sure they take plenty of liberties with the history, but uh, because it's, it makes it, it makes the history come alive. So I, I really never mind, even history books take liberties with history. So I don't mind if it was maybe not 100% a, a factual. Um, it was just so, so fun and interesting to, to have the, the Revolutionary War really come alive like that. But then I, I have limited data. I watch how much data I use, and streaming eats through my data every month. So I've des devised this way to kind of cheat. And uh, partway through watching the episodes, I go online and I look up synopses of the episodes. And uh, sometimes they're quite detailed. And so I'll, I'll jump ahead, I'll read through, you know, four or five, six episodes, and then go back to, then go back to actually watching them. Partly too, because I get impatient. Like, okay, I've seen, I've seen three, four seasons of this. Let's let's end mm -hmm. it, and then I read it, and then I go back and watch the last few. Uh, okay, good. so <laughs> this is um, almost turned into a movie seg segment, so that's why uh, the, the next topic will be um, a little bit fast of, of a segment. But um, my pick of the week is um, it, it might appear to be a shameless plug, but honestly, it's not a shameless plug. <laughs> so it is the Unified at Work podcast original series that we have on SpecialChronicles.com slash Unified at Work. And this is um, exclusive audio documentaries and behind the scenes stories of a new inclusive unified employment program with, um, that's, um, that, that's taken off between the, the Global Partnership with Special Olympics International and United Airlines. And uh, you you really get to really hear stories um, that's not told anywhere else. We are the first media platform to really, um, really tell these stories. And season one, episodes one through ten, um, well, one through four are already live. But by the time we celebrate our one-year work anniversary on October 28th, 2020, we will have ten episodes, so that'll be a full se season. And I definitely recommend that you guys check that out. And in checking that out. I know personally it will encourage you to want to fly the friendly skies, meaning fly on United Airlines when it is safe to do so. Slash just fly United Airlines. <laughs> so that's the best kind of it's 
it's all one pick of the week, really. Uh, so unify, uh, unify that work. Uh, SpecialChronicles.com/slash/unifiedatwork is where you can listen on demand or stream the, those episodes and those oh. other content too. Good pick of the week. Yeah. So uh, next is movies and TV segment. Uh, we we kind of covered that a little bit. We where covered it. Yeah. So the movie Princess Bride will will recommend that for movies and TV segment. The TV show Tone Washington Spies. Yes. Is that? Tone. Tone. Yeah. And um, George's Kitchen show. That's a digital TV show, but it's it's still uh, it's still uh, entertainment. Um, and then. The uh, Unified Work series, that, that's an audio documentary, so that's entertainment as well. Mm -hmm. So we kind of covered we, we, we kind of covered it, but any other movies or TV you guys, anybody Gosh, else? We're, we're watching a series on, I'm not sure if it's on Prime um, or Netflix, it's called Bosch. And the main I character is her is Hieronymus Bosch, Harry Bosch for short, and he's a detective How in do you spell LA. that? B O S C H, and um, I don't know how many series there are, but uh, we're still in the. I guess we just started the second series, and it's very entertaining. The lead guy is really good, and good actors, and uh, and and fast pace and surprises around the corner. So we've been enjoying that. So I can recommend the Bosch series too. I mm -hmm. think there are maybe six episodes. Oh, oh okay. Uh, they just came up with the, the most recent one. Mm. And it's set in LA, mm. and Dan here was born in LA, and so we were out there for a number of years. And it, it really just sort of captures the feel of Los Angeles. Mm. So that's, that's part of its charm, I think. But yeah, it is, it is good. It's based on, I think, the Michael Connelly uh, murder oh, murder TV, ready TV shows. Um, TV, so I'm going to recommend the show Ozark on Netflix mm. with Jason Bateman and a bunch of mm. other people. Uh, I, I, I'm not usually into those types of TV thrill shows, um, but th this it's unlike anything. It's unlike a typical TV drama thrill that that I wouldn't typically wouldn't watch, but I would watch Ozark. And so it's about this family and the 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 drug cartel take place in the Missouri Ozarks, and it's um, really like it'll make you want to binge watch. Like mm. I just discovered season three on Netflix a few weeks ago. It is a Netflix original, and so I definitely recommend the All show right. we'll Ozark. Have to add that to our list. Ozark mm -hmm. on Netflix. So even if you are not into those types of shows, so let's move on to our uh, social plugs and final thoughts. Uh, so we want to tell you if you enjoyed this program, we, we want to hear your reviews, we want to hear you, you um, tweeting, tweeting with us and comments on us and emailing us, audio feedback or posts. Uh, how can they do that, Georgia? Um, they should go on Georgia Show.com. Show.com, no. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I can never find it, that's why I'm <laughs> On social media, we are at Daniel and Georgia Show. Mm -hmm. um, you can also um, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and yeah, that's Yeah, cool. so just um, for the sake of this is digital radio, so just to repeat. Oh, a listener, because we always like to be, we, we repeat stuff on air. Uh, that's Daniel and Georgia. 
Georgia.com, Daniel and Georgia.com, and at Daniel and Georgia is our Instagram and Facebook handle and YouTube slash. There's nothing to pay behind that YouTube channel, but whatever. Let's just say at Daniel and Georgia on Instagram and Facebook, and uh, it's Daniel Georgia us. Daniel, which is spelled out, it's Daniel Georgia with no apostrophe, right? Yeah. So, not have, right, yeah, no so, yeah, so Daniel Georgia Us, at Daniel Georgia Us is our Twitter handle. You can, the hashtag for this program, you can tweet us, hashtag Daniel and Georgia Show. That's what you can show. <laughs> so, hashtag Daniel and Georgia Show. Um, and we would love to, and, and it's quite commonly the show is on Podbean and TwitchChronicles.com, but coming soon on all major podcast apps. So, we have to work on that. Um, so you go, you go definitely go check out the awesome site. It's free for the next five years. DanielAndGeorgia.com <laughs> and TV.DanielAndGeorgia.com. <laughs> so after five years, we have to figure something out. <laughs> so start paying. Okay. So anybody want to give any personal social media plugs? Instagram, Twitter, anything? No. No. So just follow the show. I think that's the best place. There you go. So just follow the show. Yep. Uh, and all the links. To our social media and email and, up and voicemail and everything is on danielandgeorgia.com. So just go there, danielandgeorgia.com. What's the website again, Dan? I believe it's danielandgeorgia.com. And mom, what's the uh, what's the website again? Danielandgeorgia.com. But I keep wondering why it's not georgiaanddaniel.com. I wonder too. <laughs> okay, I I could have modded this after a. Maybe that'll be five years from now. You can then it'll be the georgiaanddaniel.com. Oh, it'll, it'll be both. It'll be both. But there's a family in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, that it's a husband and wife, and they kind of have the husband and wife. I mean, it's I, like I've husband. seen that. I think I've ended up there many times. So yeah, and what's the website? Daniel and Georgia.com. And nobody was supposed to ask me. Daniel and Georgia.com. There you go. There you go. Yay. Okay. Final thoughts uh, be before we get back on our bikes. Final thoughts on the overall time on this very special Daniel and Georgia show with the state bike cast date nights. My thought is to just wish everyone happy Mother's Day's past and present and future. Happy Mother's Day to all of us who are Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, past, present, <laughs> and future. There you go. I covered it all. So, just before we all say the final words, which is we all to we say that all together at the same time. Um, anybody have a five star read? I'm assuming we're all giving this, this, this show a five star read in. But any quick review? why people should listen to the Daniel and Georgia show season two? Choose to include. Listen to the show. Choose to include. And, and until, sorry, and until next week where we will be back live Sunday at 5 p.m. Central. We will be live live, not the pre-recorded live, live live. We want to remind you to show compassion, show love, love to inspire, it's our new tagline, by the way. Okay. Love to inspire. Love to inspire. And stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, choose, choose to, to include. include. And scene. And scene. <laughs>